Good evening, everyone. We're reading this evening from Matthew chapter 6 about treasures in heaven. Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where moth and rust do not destroy, and where thieves do not break in and steal. For where your treasure is, there your heart will be also. And verse 24. No one can serve two masters. Either he will hate the one and love the other, or he will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. These verses are quite difficult to understand. And on first reading them, one could easily believe that Christ is saying that it's wrong for Christians to be rich or to have possessions. But that's not what he's driving at. He was, in fact, teaching his disciples to prepare them to represent him after he'd returned to his heavenly father. They were, in fact, to be enabled to live as he had lived after they'd received the Holy Spirit in full measure. We as Christians now have the responsibility to love God with our heart, our soul, our mind, and our strength, and to love our neighbours as ourselves. It's not easy. It's easy to agree to do this with our minds, but harder to put it into practice, as Peter found when he denied Christ three times. But as we grow as Christians, we become aware that we need to allow the Spirit to have full access in our lives to enable us to live as Jesus lived, both as individuals and as a church. We need the heart of Christ. There is the saying that practice makes perfect. I'm not so sure about that, as after I've been practicing for more than seven decades, I'm still learning. But one thing I have learned And that is that it does help if each morning, as we wake up, we worship the Lord, thank him for dying in our place on the cross, and if we ask the Holy Spirit to fill us for that day, showing us God's will and enabling us to live for him. We can't do it alone.